Well, if you have a sweet tooth, you know those cravings can get uh, really special for a particular kind of candy or confection. But with this global economy, you may not even know where your favorite candy comes from. So we had you vote on your favorite Minnesota candy company. The results are in, and Reg Chapman brings us the story of Pearson's Candy Company, making candy in the Twin Cities for more than 100 years. These days, perhaps the one constant in life that we can pretty much depend on is that things will change. In fact, one would be hard pressed to find anything that hasn't changed drastically in the last hundred years. From our clothes, our cars, what we eat, just take a trip down the candy aisle. The array of candy from so many companies and the brands from all those companies, it's almost more than you can possibly take in. It just wasn't the case a century ago. It was much more, much more narrow in scope. And something like a nut goodie uh, would be a pretty big innovation. This idea of a cluster bar um, with peanuts and chocolate mixed together over some kind of maple nougat center. I mean, what is that? Michael Keller is the president and CEO of Pearson's Candy Company in St. Paul. And the nut goodies that come off the line today, aside from the packaging, are pretty much the same as they were in 1912 when they first came out and for good reason. There is a bit of a dynamic tension between wanting to change and improve because trends move forward, consumer preferences move forward, retailer interests move forward, but also you sort of have to be very aware of what brought you to the dance. Keeping that delicate balance of honoring the past and embracing change is one of the main reasons this little Minnesota company is still duking it out with the much larger national brands after 109 years. It is really good to uh, to reflect on the fact that so many of the candy bars, even one we acquired, Bit of Honey, five years ago, have indeed stood the test of time. But the story of how the famous Pearson salted nut roll came to be perhaps best encapsulates the spirit of Pearson's candy company. By 1933, height of the Depression, people are really struggling. and. Out Pearson's comes with a candy bar. During a time when a candy bar was thought of as a luxury item, the timing of the launch seemed suspect to some. But there was an insight that uh, the folks at Pearson had back then around, well, let's just not come out with any candy bar. Maybe this candy bar should be loaded with peanuts, just packed with peanuts, because that would be very satisfying, hunger satisfying. And so for nickel, you could get this very satisfying candy bar, which would address not just maybe a sweet tooth, the luxury part, but maybe also more of like a need, sustenance. And the salted nut roll gave sustenance to the Pearson's company, helping it weather the remaining years of the Depression. The Mighty Nut Roll will turn 85 this year and is still their flagship product, representing about 40% of Pearson sales. And it's worth the drive by for those sweet smells that still waft from their West 7th Street location in St. Paul. It is very satisfying to see these brands still rolling and hopefully will for another 109 years. Congratulations. Yeah. Next week, Minnesota's best high school mascot. Root for your school on our Facebook page or share your favorite via Twitter or email. Big yeah. fan of the nut cookie. Definitely. Yeah, and the salted nut roll. I always think of the salted nut roll this time of year when you mix candy corns and peanuts. Great combo. Tastes just like that candy bar. A little bit. Really? Yeah, it's fantastic. I'm not so much a fan of the candy corn. I'll get you a second. He'll, he'll mix anything. <laughs> I will. Really this anything. is true. Why am I even surprised <laughs> by that? This is true. Yeah. <laughs>